the most important things about sculpture is that from like any angle when someone walks up to it, it's gonna communicate some kind of feeling to the person. It's very different from a painting and, and other art forms. You need to capture not only their likeness, but you're trying to convey their personality and convey their spirit if you can. Television Academy since the 90s has been commissioning sculptures for the Hall of Fame garden. And I've been fortunate enough to create nine of them, including Julie Louis-Dreyfus, Shonda Rhimes, Katie Couric, and Joan Rivers. My going deaf was such a huge part of uh, why I do what I do. And I think it's a huge part of how I'm able to do it. I think it really did make me, out of necessity, a keen observer of understanding what people were thinking, saying, and feeling because I had to get a lot of that visually where other people could get it from, you know, their tone. When I get a new piece, I, I first come up with my own mind what, what I think I would like that piece to look like. But then I always get from the inductees, you know, or in the case of Joan, like their family and friends, photographs of what they would like this to be. It's usually more like, well, you know, I like my smile here. I like, I like, you know, this kind of hairstyle. And so I'll, I'll, I'll pull that all together. While I'm sculpting, I always have a monitor up with videos looping of that person and uh, also just a, a range of photographs that I think are, you know, typical of that look and that expression. Up until a few years ago, I sculpted everything in the beginning in clay, but now I do all that digitally. So once we've got the likeness and the feel and all that that the um, inductee, you know, resonates with and that I'm happy with, then, then we take that into all the mechanical processes. And the first mechanical process is um, the enlargement. Then I re-sculpt that armature, that foam with clay and carving and, and you know, reconstructing that um, sculpture that was all digital, now reconstructing that all in the physical world. Once that's complete, we take it to the foundry and it goes through multiple steps in the foundry. Through each step, you know, from the molds and the wax and the metal work, I re-sculpt little details. I will knock back things that I think are too prominent. Then it becomes, you know, welding and grinding and chiseling to get back things that were, that just happened at 2100 degrees. I'm constantly, throughout all the process, um, working, working, working to get it back to the, the vision I had, you know, and, and then maybe a little, a little more than that. When I see someone see their bus for the first time or a loved one see their bus for the first time, you know, that's the thing that really motivates me. That's why, that's why I think I'm, uh, compelled to do this. When people like the Academy commission a bust of someone that is such a long lasting tribute to that person. And it's just, it's just such a powerful and amazing thing to do that, knowing that that's gonna be around for decades, centuries, millennia even. That is just such a cool way to honor someone.